Well, hello guys, this is me, Kirsch, again, and now we're going to discover the technique of basically how I managed, well, yeah, because I figured maybe why not, guys, like, so for, like, any beginners that wants to attempt, like, to do a, a very good performing good job, like, <clears throat> at the so-called loan jump technique, and I assure you, this is what I'll, this is like what, what I see. I see a lot of professionals for some reason who do this on other YouTube videos or something. Some just pivot their two feet towards the, you know. But yeah, first reaction like is we want to protect ourselves from getting injured, and I understand that. <clears throat> I've. Over the past year or so, I've begun to realize that <clears throat> what I was doing, like, it was okay, but it wasn't getting me a lot of distance, so I needed to figure out a way how I can improve that, and it took me a little bit of a long while for me to figure out how I can attempt to go very far, not get injured, and simple as that. <clears throat> and luckily... I don't know if the attempt will work all the time when I do these track and field stuff. I mean, I still got plenty of other years ahead of me that I could still pretty much do all sorts of these kinds of stuff, guys. So, anyways, yeah, I just deformed the sitting technique, basically. So, just run towards your way, and as you land in there, you, you end up sitting right on the sand. <clears throat> now to on to getting all that stuff through the technique now so if any of you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet maybe it'd be a good idea to do so before like if you if you believe that I can do better next year than 409 so anyways so the first Fain, right? <clears throat> so notice how I was beginning my launch right over there at the very far back. <clears throat> well, the thing is, I could go all the way like I can start like right here. But if I do that, I'm not going to build all that momentum. We're not going to be able to build all that momentum that we need to gain the further distance, as you can see. Then I have to really work harder to be able to try to make sure to get over there and it would ruin kind of well i don't know it would kind of ruin i think my ankle or my legs doing so just by striving harder just at a very closer range as you can see so that's why starting all the way over that distance is good but if i start too far then i then what's going to happen I'm going to be able to run, but if I run all the way through there to there, I'm going to tire myself out, losing a lot of that momentum, and it's not going to end up very well either. Although I attempt that one time, and it did give me some decent distance, but regularly, if we want to get the furthest distance possible, yeah. And this is just from collecting my first ever four meters experience. So I figured why not teach that to some of the people that want to also achieve four meters or higher than that. The highest I've seen, maybe the world record, was over around nine meters or something. <clears throat> but we're not even towards that level. No, no, not even at that level. So basically, yes, as you can see, I... So we already know I start off there, <clears throat> but I don't quite start off at my exact running speed, right? I don't go my fastest potential to get there because, you know, I get tired there. So what I do first, well, if the, if the recording happened entirely, normally I start off by, um, I start off by walking a little bit, then because that's because by me warming my legs up right by me walking I'm slowly building up a little more distance 
to enter the next stage, which is kind of jogging. And that's what I was kind of doing a little bit. Almost running, but not quite running. But I don't know if you can see that little line right here. But once I reach about there, guys. See where my um, yeah, right foot lands right there. As soon as it triggers there, <clears throat> I no longer just jog. I run my fastest potential there because I know that I'm getting super close to that um, green and white line, right? And if I pass the green line, then it will count as a scratch. So I, what I want to do is I want to run my fastest potential and I want to try to see about, well, if it's a little bit too far back, then it's not going to gain further distance. And if I pass that one, then I get nothing. So I want to directly get my foot as close as possible to the green line. Simple as that. So here I go ahead. <clears throat> so I run all the way here. Already nearly close. I know I'm accelerating a lot in this video, but this is me showing some technique here. So you see how far this is my left foot right near that green line as you can see and you're already beginning to notice that my right leg is already beginning to do that long jump <clears throat> followed by i'm having my eyesight directly looking towards um i think it was a building there when i was looking at but i'm not even directly looking at the sand yet because any point that my eyes tend to look down, if they look down, then the whole jump is going to, like, my whole body is going to go weighing down with where my eyes wanted me to land, right? The thing is, I want to be able to know exactly where I want to land, so that's why I jump for uh, at the middle, but then when I notice my eyes reach, I want to be able to reach where my eyes wanted me to go. Which then I put my legs, obviously, before I put the rest of my body, as close as possible, like, as in, to the end of the board, basically. Further away from the line, basically. So I start making the jump now. So, yep. <clears throat> now I got my right leg sticking out, right? As I'm, now I got my left one now in the back doing that jump so now you can see me completely up in the air guys yeah and yeah my hands are now sticking up higher than my head too and now I'm all because of all that wind force my hair is obviously going back too I guess so yep next thing that comes into mind since I'm getting near my highest point Right there. It just look at that guys. It almost looks like um I can fly all the sun, right? Because of that certain effect from really jumping super high. And that's incredible how I can jump quite high here. And many of you guys can achieve this too if you take the practice really seriously for me here, basically. <clears throat> Now, I'm not sure if it will be direct to get the 4 meters immediately, but it should help you get closer to achieving it if you put all the termination to it. And, if you, of course, if you've got just strong legs to do otherwise, too. Most likely it should. So, yeah. Me and my track and field shirt, well, we all, as a team... We're really trying our best to, well, could be at our own pace of a level here. So, here's me at the highest point. So, now, well, I'm not sure if, yeah, my eyes kind of look a little bit close, but they're actually looking towards the sand now. As you can see, now my hands are no longer high in the air. Now they're kind of reaching towards the back, which is something you want to be able to achieve next. 
So now we go a little more further down. So now you can see I'm starting to clearly land here or so. Yep. So now both my legs have finally reached connecting one another. So you see, right? This was something I was kind of hoping to achieve before when I did the long jump from other years. But... I was kind of hoping to have both my legs reach the sand and then not be able to fall. But I realized that was only getting me like what? My best from the districts last year was 350 and then I got 369 on my provincials. And it didn't achieve me so great since it got me kind of in fifth from yeah. This one was a little bit more better, and I proved of it a lot more. And man, I do wish this was something that could have been captured easily for the Eastlink TV. But I don't even know they do something like that so much. <clears throat> also considering the fact that it didn't quite get the record here or whatever. So now we see now. Oh. Um, yeah, that's kind of a little tricky, but you can tell that my legs managed to, well, basically, they're the first veins that will hit the ground first, but I tried to get my body to slid in a little more before, and I, what I want, to, what I want to try to do is to try to get my hand and my bottom as close as possible to my feet possibly and by getting them that close that's how i'm able to achieve much more further distance so because we know how well the body like any part of your own self they yeah like where your mark was at versus where the green line is at they're going to measure that the thing that's the closest to the line basically so, as you can tell, almost reach it upon the ground, but I'm not quite hitting the ground yet. So, I go a little more further down, and la la. There you have it, guys. Basically, you're seeing right there, that's where my handprint was at. I'm surprised I didn't get my left hand, by the way, into the sand, which was a good sign. <laughs> But yes, mainly most of my body was about as close as possible to where I wanted to get towards. So we do this all the slow motion again. So yeah, I'm kind of in sitting precision. I was about to lay down, but that would have really messed up the performance a little bit. But yep, was able to control my somewhat landing there didn't get myself hurt whatsoever and that's a good sign want to make sure all contestants like the competitors are safe so ready to see that all in and nearby action guys and credible news this was just to get four possible meters all in one possible go and then on my second try, as I was doing quite similar, <clears throat> I hit the similar line, but my momentum kind of slowed me down by a slim bit, and I looked towards the ground a little bit sooner than I did on my first try. So that's why on my second and third try, well, I can't quite remember my third try, how I managed to tie my second, but it must have been something similar. So basically, my first try was overall my only greatest try at 409, guys. So rest assured, I had quite also a very amazing time with my friends while I was there. And that's gonna be that's gonna be the picture title. What you're gonna look at, guys, when you first click or look at my possible video of the track and field of all of us as participants and competitors too all my friends from 
in the 2022-2023 year. As I'm considered the returning grad of the school, blah, blah, blah. Let's start and see how far I achieve such things big. So there you have it, guys. Um, I did the best I could with explaining. I know this took around 15, but I hope you guys maybe understand the technique for um, any beginners that want to do long jump in the future or so. This is a good way. So yeah. Anyways, have fun now. Yeah. Christian signing off. Bye-bye. And stay connected, especially recently.